So obviously you're here because you want to see how to install a Kersling, but first let me finish off these rounds and then we'll get right to it. Today we're going to show you how to install the Kersling, but first you want to make sure that your rifle is oriented as such with the bolt handle facing up and then the barrel facing to the right. Now moving on to the Kersling itself, you want to have it laid out fully and starting with the, the shorter piece of the sling here, you want to have the actual opening gate facing down on the rear portion. Then you move down here, you'll see that this is the part that also has the three holes on it and then the, uh, the little fastener that goes around the longer portion of the sling. Then you have this keeper here, which this can be moved to however you want it. Um, usually I keep it down here to where it holds everything nice and tight once I get it to the length that I want. Now for the length of the second strap, or the longest portion, uh, you wanna have this little keeper here that has the extra loop at around the halfway point of the longer portion of the sling. And you'll see why here in a minute. Now moving down to this end, you'll see that the opening gate is in the upward position because this is going to go around and it's going to wrap around and basically form an S onto itself. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and go back to here to the rear of the stock. We're going to go ahead and open this one and then allow it to fully set so that way it doesn't fall off while we're doing it. The reason we're starting with this end first is that this will be the end that we use the least. So now moving down, we got the keeper where we want it. Now we're going to move up to this end, the very end of the long portion here. You're gonna to wanna to hold and pinch the gate, otherwise you're gonna to have to probably use some pliers to get it back off, because uh, mine's a little bit of rough, yours may not. Um, and then you're just gonna go ahead, get it on, hold the opening gate, just like this, and then you're gonna to wanna to rotate it, and then actually push it through the sling mount, just like this. Now this is the part where you're gonna feed it through the opening gate of this portion here, or the, the sling portion. Doing the same thing that you just did, you wanna hold the gate, route it through, back onto itself just like this. So now you have that classic S shape that you're going for. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this opening gate here and put it back onto the sling mount. Once you get it on there, you can go ahead and let this, the gate go and let it fully set. And then once you got it on there like that, all you gotta do is pull the sling. You'll see that it makes the nice little fold or up and around and onto itself. And then you can adjust it by pulling on either strap to make it either longer or shorter than you want basically changing the shape of this to whatever length that you want set. And there you have it. That is exactly how you do it so that you can get it to look like many of the World War II pictures that you might find online. 